Hey guys, welcome to the top three Unity assets for January 2019. Now I know some of you if, who watch it, who follow along, will probably say that this is a little bit behind. I'm always a, a month behind, but now I just need to catch up. But all in all, it's free assets, so everybody loves free stuff. So it doesn't matter whether it's a year behind or, or a week behind. So number one is the Do Not Shoot Aliens mobile game. It's a game template for a top-down shooter style game. Instead of controlled shooting, and it is a template for a game where you can just shoot everything around you and it includes mobile joystick movement, shooting and bullet object pooling, checkpoints, UIs, enemies, um, nav meshes and a whole host of things there. Number two is something called Grab It and it allows you to manipulate rigid bodies by literally grabbing them and you can move them, rotate them, throw them away and it has a lot of mechanics that have become very popular in horror games. And the next one is something called Water 2D and it's a way to render 2D interactable fluid water particles in Unity. So you can use this to create um, a mobile friendly sort of CPU, low on the CPU cost, sort of water falling type of game where you have the particle system and you can control the position and it allows you to easily customize in the inspector and just create from some of those mobile games you might have seen in the past. Next one is the Warped City Assets Pack and it's a complete pixel art assets pack to build a platformer game out of the box and it includes three level parallax backgrounds um, complete with a tile set, lots of different props, items, FX to decorate the scene, 10 different animations for the main character, a walk, shoot, run, jump and lots of different things there, two different animated enemies and four different vehicles. The next one is something called procedural level generator and it's a small framework to create levels by using connectable sections. This can be either created in 3D or 2D, good for most types of platformers, Rolex, FPS and it works with prefabs allow you to layer it up, sections can have multiple tags and you can spawn multiple types of sections. There's a whole host of other features that you might be interested in. The next one is the Bezier Path Creator. It's a lightweight editor extension for you to create smooth paths within the editor so you can easily make objects move along a path guide them with spawning objects and generating meshes. Paths can be rotated, scaled, and they work in both 2D and 3D space. The next one is something called Dream Train, and it's a high spec sort of train with an interior built with lots of different details. The train is fully furnished and includes a complete environmental system. It has a lot of high quality assets for the kitchen, bathroom, and living room. It includes the complete interior, um, high quality furniture 3D models suitable for all host of VR headsets. And the next one is something called the Camera Multi Target Dynamic. This is an open source library which dynamically sets a set of objects, for example, the player or important objects in the view, and it's a common problem for a portion of games, and it allows you to use this instead of something like the cinema machine and it allows you to just track multiple objects even if it's a, for a shared screen for a multiplayer game and it offers an easier faster way to implement this sort of functionality. And the next one is something called the light FPS counter, probably the world's fastest FPS counter so it suggests and it allows you to get a lot of stats out of the box for what your system is running at, what FPS you're getting and just helps you with debugging down the road. And last but not least is the flat screen transitions and it's an animation package which includes a selection of smooth and modern flat transition animations all made with default Unity components so it includes 11 different styles all customizable, editable animations you can drag and drop the prefab and it includes a demo scene in the package. So be sure to check out all the assets that were featured for January 2019. Be sure to thank all the developers for all their great assets for this month. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.